steppes are among the most disturbed and least protected ecosystems worldwide, and Russia is no exception. It is currently estimated that by the end of the 20th century, some 75% of the Russian steppes were destroyed, now occupied by fields, cities, quarries, planted forests, and other facilities. However, steppes account for much of Russia's biodiversity. Many vulnerable or threatened plant and animal species are endemic, found in Russia and adjacent countries only. In the past decade, the steppes' critical condition is increasingly the focus of international organizations. In 2010, the UNDP GEF Step Project was launched in Russia, the first major international steppe conservation project in this country. Unlike forests and water bodies, steppes have no legal protection, and the use of steppes is actually determined by the law on agriculture. So the appearance of a large international steppe project in our country, aiming to protect the steppes and steppe biodiversity, was very timely and important event in Russia's life a very significant nature conservation effort. The project entitled Improving the Coverage and Management Efficiency of Protected Areas in the Steppe Biome of Russia is being implemented under the auspices of the United Nations Development Program, funded by the Global Environment Facility and managed by the Ministry of Natural Resources and Environment of the Russian Federation. A special role in the project was assigned to the Orenburg region that is located on the border between Europe and Asia. This region has retained the greatest area of typical and meadow steppes, home to many steppe animals. Of special importance is the Orenburgsky Nature Reserve, the only one in Russia established for steppe conservation. 90% of its area is steppe. In July 2015, the territory of the Orenburgsky Nature Reserve was extended by 76% to include a fifth section, the pre-Ural steppe, 16.5 thousand hectares in the area. That made it possible to embark on another initiative with global significance, implementing Russia's first and for now unique program for the reintroduction of Przewalski's horse, which will restore the species population which was formerly extinct in the wild. The Przewalski's horse reintroduction program plays a key role in the restoration of the steppe ecosystem. Undulates effectively reduce the risk of steppe fires, and the entire eco-steppe system starts functioning more naturally. Under the auspices of the UNDP GEF steppe project, all the infrastructure required for bringing in the first horses was created in record-breaking time. A lodge, a permanent study area, acclimatization paddocks and a quarantine block. And in October 2015, the first group of Przewalski's horses, provided by the Tach Przewalski's Horse Association, arrived from France. It's really impressive and so it's really a luck for the, um, the conservation of the Przewalski's horse to have a plot of such size available for um, to accommodate a population. I think just by eyes that uh, it should not be any, no problem to, ha to have 1,500 uh, individuals, which is a, a size we consider that uh, appropriate to have a viable population from a genetic point of view. So for this reason, it's a really uh, very good place, maybe one of the best places in the world to have Przewalski's horse population here. I'm very proud that the United Nations Development Program is associated with the conservation efforts of the Przewalski horses. And last year, thanks to our association with the government of the Russian Federation and the funding from the Global Environmental Facility, UNDP was able to bring six horses back from my wonderful country of France into Orenburg provinces. And we have now this fantastic four-legged compatriot of mine uh, in Orenburg Natural Park and this year we will bring another 15 of those horses from different zoos across the, the countries of the world and we are hoping that by 2030 there will be about 150 to 200 
uh, wild horses in Orenburg. And this will be really the beginning of a new era where the Prezervalski horses can be in their natural environment and also contributing to the conservation of the steppe in their habitat. Between April and September 2016, the entire pre-Ural steppe site was fenced off in order to preserve the protected steppe and its future population of Przewalski's horses. And on the 3rd of October this year, Vladimir Putin, President of the Russian Federation, and Rafilia Bakirova, Director of the Orenburg Natural Reserve, let the first group of wild horses out of the acclimatization paddock and into the reserve. In November 2016, a second group of the animals will be brought from Hungary to the Orenburg Reserve to replenish its population. The harmony between the steppe and the wild undulates will thus be gradually restored. The UNDP GEF steppe project in the Orenburg region gave a key impetus to steppe protection, raising conservation efforts to a new level. Further steppe conservation efforts will require a similar level of large-scale institutional support.